Hello there. All right, so the trailer for One Piece, the live action Netflix series finally dropped. And honestly, it took me a minute to realize it even came out because I was hoping it would never actually come to fruition. I was hoping that it would be forgotten and because Netflix, well, honestly, the West has a very tr terrible track rec record when it comes to adapting anime. They put a Western spin on it and it ruins it. I mean, anyone remember Dragon Ball Evolution? Any rem anyone remember Death Note? Anyone remember Cowboy Bebop? I mean, all these are just absolutely dreadful representations of the masterpieces that came before it. And what's uh, kind of hilarious is even in Japan, they have live action versions of these already. Like Death Note has some amazing, like the, their trilogy of Death Note, their movie for, uh, trilogy was absolutely phenomenal. Even the way they decided to end it with that third one where he's picking up N, M? Yeah, where he's he's picking up his successor. It was so well done. The, the, this, I, okay, I, I'm already expecting the worst of it. So maybe I'm wrong. I haven't even looked at the trailer. I I was kind of just, I haven't looked at the, I saw the casting along like years ago, I guess. But I'm not expecting much. I'm not expecting much. Let's just say that. It's it's One Piece. I'm an avid fan. I, I've been in love with this series longer than half of my life. I started when it was in the Alabaster arc. I remember going to when four I was excited when four kids got the four kids got the animation rights to dub it. And then I heard it in English and I'm like, this is this is not this is not what it's supposed to sound like. And I hated it. And then Funimation got the rights to it. And even better. But yeah, this is I have been a huge longtime fan. Anime, manga, even even the the off like the original Romance Dawn. And I'll get into that hopefully after this this trailer. But yeah, this this I'm probably gonna be pausing it quite a bit as I'm noticing things. So hey, okay, okay. So red hair shanks. <laughs> it's funny. The start of the trailer. This is the red haired shanks pirate ship. You can tell just by the 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 oh, not a monolith, the, the I, I forgot what it's the carabelle. No, that's the the sail. The, the thing on the front, the the, the the display on the front. Someone's gonna know. But yeah, this is red haired shank ship. So he's gonna he's gonna be in this. Cause I was thinking it's like, are they gonna remove him? I have a feeling you know what I'll I'll mention that all at the end. Let's watch it. Red haired shanks. Ever since I was a kid. The sea's been calling. I, okay, I don't like the whole Hawaiian shirt. The Hawaiian shirt's kind of annoying. I One thing I do like in One Piece is that every arc, the characters actually change their clothes. So it's not like Naruto where he wears his yellow jumps through, throughout the rest of his life. He's like in that prison suit. No, they actually change due to their environment. And I like that. But it doesn't look right with the Hawaiian shirt. It looks very, very off. I'm, I'm not a fan of the Hawaiian shirt. But, but. Who knows? Maybe it'll work. But, <laughs> so, it looks like I'm it's at a shipyard where they're getting dreams. that. I'm gonna be king of the pirate. Was he wearing overalls? Oh, he's being the chore boy. That makes sense. That makes sense. He's chore boy here. I'm gonna be king of the pirates. Oh, that sound does not sound right. All I need is a loyal crew, and I think. Together, we'd make a pretty good team. We're heading up to the Grand Line. A treacherous stretch of ocean with bigger islands. Red hair. So, so they are bringing red hair, Chinks. Uh, Ophelia, Lady Pirate of the Sea. So they're gonna have the her, pirates. obviously. <laughs> um. Is that Buggy? I don't, I don't know, but I didn't think Buggy was nightmare fuel. I thought he was just creepy. But this is nightmare fuel. This is creepier than it. This is creepier than most clowns. This is... Careful with that. I don't work for you. I'm sensing a little bit of tension amongst the crew. Not, Not a crew. crew. We haven't sailed together for very long, but I know we've got each other's backs. Come again! Mm. 
Mmm. Old Grinch fighters club. I gotta say, the sound just sounds awful. It, he does not sound the part. The, the thing about Luffy is he, like, doesn't age. It's because of his devil fruit that keeps him, you know, looking the way he does. He's the one person that looks like he gets younger as he gets older. The rest all age, the rest all get stronger, and he just gets... I, I, it's live action. Oh, they're finishing moves. No, they don't. I don't know. I know Oda is supposed to be working on set with this, but remember, The Last Airbender had the writers working on set with that, and look how that movie turned out. So I don't think much of having the actual creative, the original creative person on it. There's so many little things that are just red flags. Like there's a one scene where um, we're not a pirate crew. Zoro is loyal to a fault. He will stand against Luffy when he knows for a fact Luffy's making the worst decision for the crew. Like when him and, uh, when Luffy and Usopp had a fallout. Zoro stood, like, was gonna fight with Luffy. And it's just like, that's how Zoro is. He is loyal to Luffy. He is gonna follow Luffy. As soon as Luffy basically blackmails him into becoming his crew member, that's it. He, he has sold his soul to Luffy at that point in time. So that's how he views it. Zoro is an honorable person. And the fact, I know it's Zoro and Nami who are arguing, but the, the whole hostility, I think it's just the way he sounds. It doesn't work. His voice doesn't work as Luffy. Because even when you read it in the manga, it is so lively. So, so just because of the, the boyish charm that he sends off. And remember, One Piece is a two year, like, okay, all 1,086 chapters that have come out so far. 1,086? Is that, yeah, 1,086 chapters that have come out and 1,085 episodes that have come out. Only two years and plus a few months have actually passed in world. In world. So how are they going to have that? And my biggest issue is where it happened to Don Creed? What happened to uh, C Captain Kuro? Are they going to, what happened to, I guess they're going to not do Arlong yet, but what happened to those? Because Arlong would be, because I think they're doing the first 20 if that's correct. And it looks like Buggy the Clown is the creep that they're introducing. They're having red-haired shanks because they're going to have to have red-haired shanks. Are they going to show... Did, did they have Luffy have a scar under his eye? Because that's a, that's a key factor to Luffy's character. That's a key... No. That's the thing. Luffy, his scar under his eye is a key part to who he is. He's You know he's insane from that moment on. But... You love him for it. He, he stabs himself beneath his eye in the first manga chapter, uh, trying to show that he's brave, trying to get on Shanks' crew. As a kid, as like, a, I think it was seven years old. It, they don't even have his scar. They have it right here, it seems. Maybe, maybe it's not as prevalent because it's live action. Okay, okay, it looks, it looks, it looks like they have his scar, okay. That was bothering me for a second. But yeah, because it's a key factor of who he is. And is Buggy the Clown, who is more of a comedic relief, even now in the mangas, even now in the anime, he's comedic relief. They're making him out to be this absolute creep factor. This absolute devastating nightmare fuel of a character. I mean, seriously, look at this. Look at this and tell me you're not going to have bad dreams. I I honestly don't know. I like I'm just thinking the worst is gonna come of this. The way the characters sound, I'm glad that they didn't show much of Sanji. I'm glad that they didn't show much of Usopp. I'm glad that they didn't really show much between the characters, except the stuff that they did show doesn't feel like the characters. I've been an avid fan. I mean, if they were gonna do anything, anything, if Netflix was gonna take One Piece and do anything with it, they should have taken Romance Dawn. They should have taken the first stretch that Oda had done, the thing that basically allowed him to create his massive universe of One Piece. Because if anyone knows Romance Dawn, it was more of a short stretch. It, uh, Luffy got a fruit from the gum gum tree that only produces once every 50 years. And then Galley the Crescent is the villain. And it was something that seemed like, okay, it could go on for quite a bit of time. 
because he had a goal to become King of the Pirates. But it was a very short stretched. It didn't have this massive world that had all this detail built into it. How much are they going to throw out for this story to just follow the One Piece narrative? I would rather them do the Romance Dawn narrative, change that up a little bit, and finish that story. That would make more sense rather than what they're doing here. It seems like they're taking everything from the anime and scrapping a lot. Well, not everything. They're, they're taking what they want from the anime, scrapping a lot. And one thing, one thing that Oda has done amazingly well is in the first thing, the first chapter, Red Haired Shanks does something to the sea dragon that you don't find out what that is till 500 chapters down the manga, till 700 uh, uh, episodes into uh, the the anime. You actually find out what that is, and it's hockey. There's so many little things that are. Are they just gonna blatantly say it all? No. A lot of this stuff has to be built up. A lot of this stuff. What makes One Piece so amazing is you will be see something, read something that you'll think is insignificant. It was just like, oh, this dude's just being a boss. Oh, this thing right here. Luffy's just hearing this because it just, it just makes his character quirky. That comes into play thousands of chapters later. Hundreds upon hundreds of chapters later. 50 sometimes chapters later. But it becomes relevant and you remember. Your mind clicks with that one scene. That's how it's so amazing. That's why it's so well done. And now we got this. This this Buggy the Clown. <sighs> I mean, Zoro, maybe Zoro will turn out great. Maybe Luffy will turn out great. I mean, I'm going to have to do, uh, like, that's something I'm going to do a watch along for every single episode. I'm going to have to. Because I am so, you know, I, I read every chapter I, of manga. I've read, I've read through it multiple times. I have seen it. From start to present multiple times throughout my lifespan of watching for the 17, 18 years I've been following One Piece. I've seen it from start to present at that point in time. It's become more difficult now that there's 1,056 episodes, but 1,055. 1056. Yeah, 1,056 episodes. Right now, it's a kid in uh, law who are fighting with Big Mom. That's where we're at right now. But... <laughs> <laughs> I already know how that all turns out. I already know all, all this extra stuff because I am caught up with the manga. And it seems like no chapter came out this week, which is kind of sad. Kind of sad. I was, I was excited, but I think it took a month off. But yeah, I'm just worried. Even though you have the artist who created such a masterpiece helping you out with this story, I don't think it's going to turn out great. That doesn't have a best track record with the West. The West doesn't have a best track, the best track record with that kind of stuff. They're going to try to bring in some, some Western humor, which just doesn't land with the characters. Let's face it. It's not going to land. It's not going to be who these characters are. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. I, I, if you're looking forward to the show, I hope you're excited for it. I'm already devastated because I'm a huge, huge, huge fan. I mean, I made my own ace hat. I made it. So it's one of those things that it's just like, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Um, thank you all for watching. I'm sorry about this long-winded rant. I'm just incredibly passionate about One Piece. One Piece has been one of those things, one of those staples in my life that has gotten me through so much. To see it basically be netflix -tized, I am incredibly worried about that. Incredibly worried about that. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.